Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Today I have an Aldi's haul for you. I believe this is the first Aldi, actual Aldi's haul I've um, done, probably the last. Uh, years ago I used to shop at Aldi's all the time, um, but the ones near my house have just really gone downhill quite a bit. And it's about half hour to find one that's decent. And that's the one I went to today. And I was so disappointed in everything they had or lack thereof. Um, yeah, so Trader Joe's is an extra 10 minutes and they always have everything I need. So I will stick with Trader Joe's. Um, I also have a really small discount grocery haul, which I will start with. Got some of these brioche baguettes. They were a dollar, which is excellent because these are from Whole Foods and these are delicious. These are really good. I like these quite a bit. One of my favorites. Um, yeah, so a dollar is a great price. Um, they have some of the Udi's French baguettes for a dollar ninety nine. There's two in here, which is great. I'm gonna see my sister and her kids tomorrow, so I'll give them that. Got some of the Applegate chicken nuggets. I make the um, cheater chicken parmesan with these. Um, they had the chicken nuggets for two seventy, and they had the chicken patties for five seventy one. And the chicken patties were two ounces more, but for double the price, I didn't think it was worth it, so I got the chicken nuggets. Um, going to be making some gluten free stuffing, so I needed some of this sausage, and thankfully they had it there because all these didn't have it, and I was not going to another store. That was two thirty two. I love um, like saltine crackers or soda crackers. They had this little package. I think they were fifty cents. So I grabbed six of those, six of those just to throw in my lunch. My husband doesn't really care for those. Then they had these Brazilian um, cheese bites, the little breads for a dollar fifty seven, gluten free. Grab those, and then at Aldi's. They were all out of this um, gluten-free stuffing mix. They were all out of the gluten-free cornbread, and I couldn't find any gluten-free bread. So, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm going to make the gluten-free biscuits. I'm not going to put the cheddar in it. Um, you have to put that in yourself anyways. I'm going to make this and try to make stuffing with this, and I hope that works. I got two of those. I'm going to be making a layer dip, and um, it calls for sour cream. They had no sour cream, none. Not light, not regular, not any of the nasty fat free. They didn't have anything. So I know my family is not, we're not yogurt eaters. I myself do not like yogurt. My husband was very picky with yogurt, and my mom doesn't like yogurt. But I'm hoping I got the whole milk yogurt plain organic. I was just grasping at straws. I'm hoping none of us will be able to tell that that is in the dip. Got an avocado for that. Got some cheddar cheese for that dip as well. They did have a nice deal on asparagus for a one pound package. It was $1.99. Of course, um, most of, let's see, they only had red potatoes that were organic and apples that were organic. And I know a lot of people always talk about how there are all these, that's my dog, Kane playing in the background. There are all these, has so much organic stuff. This one just didn't. Um, I got this bag of organic gala apples, which was $3.99. And it's a three pound bag. He's crazy. He's cute though. Um, the regular apples that they had were only a two pound bag for three forty nine. So I grabbed this one for fifty cents more. There is one apple in here that does have a brown spot, so whatever. Um, their, their peppers looked really nice. They had non-GMO sweet bell peppers. I believe these were $2.49 for the three of them. 
Uh, so it's an orange, yellow, red. We'll make something like that. I grabbed some celery. Um, I wanted to make a strawberry pie for the kids for tomorrow. So their strawberries smell really good. These um, were $1.89, which is a really nice price. And they smell really good. So I got some of the tortilla chips and corn chips for the avocado dip. I got some of the whip topping um, for the pie so the kids can put that on. I've always wanted to try these freeze-dried strawberries. Um, they had them there. They're non-GMO. And I think they were $2.29. I could be wrong on that. So I wanted to try those, grab those. Um, I don't think the kids... I don't think the kids and a couple other people are going to eat the avocado dip. So I grabbed a salsa con queso just in case so they could have something. And I got the salsa for that dip. And I got some zucchini. A lot of their zucchini was rotten and mushy. Yeah, so I had a really bad experience with all these, I have to say. And when we went to check out, they were all out of bags. I mean, I know you're, you know, you use your reusable bags and everything, but they had no bags. Thankfully, they did have a paper bag I was able to buy. Um, otherwise, I would have to buy the dollar nineteen reusable ones, and I really didn't want one. But anyways, so this is our grocery haul for this week. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know how your Aldi's is down in the comments down below. Um, if you really like yours or not. I know a lot of people do and I see a lot of great hauls out there. So maybe it's just the one near my house. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.